Hello guys, welcome to the next episode of my Halo Concept Art Analysis Series, with this episode being focused on the Covenant Wraith tank. Just how much of this classic tank changed from its conceptual phase versus what we actually saw in Halo Combat Evolved. That's what this whole video is about, but just in case you find yourself liking the video, be sure to drop a like on the video so that it helps the video reach more Halo fans, and it means a whole lot to me. I also make new Halo videos every single week, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos, but guys, let's look at some Wraith Concept Art. So diving straight into our first piece of concept art, we have this guy, and this looks absolutely nothing like a Wraith tank, but it is filed in the concept art under Covenant tank, so we're going to include it. It actually kind of looks like a cross between a ghost and a banshee. Maybe this was made uh, before they actually decided what the ghost and the banshee would actually look like, because this looks like a smaller craft that would levitate or hover off the ground similar to a ghost, and it does look pretty sweet. I would like to see something like this in the future of Halo. They could always go back and reuse it somewhere else in the Halo universe, but there's not really much left to say let's move on to the next one so here we are at the second piece of concept art with this guy and I really like this concept art quite a bit because it immediately reminds me of the blister back from Halo Wars 2 something that I really hope to see in Halo Infinite mainly it reminds me of that because it's got those four little thrusters there on the side and it's just immediately what it reminds me of I like the idea of a hovering tank that has to land in order to shoot barrages I think that would be really cool in the Halo sandbox and that's why I want to see it in Halo Infinite but back to the concept art the next thing I notice is that if you look towards the back there those look like needler spikes and that is just such a sick idea for the look of a Covenant vehicle. It reminds me of the Vampire from Halo Wars 1, which was an anti-air aircraft that shot needler spikes. It was so cool. So I like the look of that here, but it also reminds me of the Seraph from Halo Reach. That's all I really have to say about this one, so let's move on to the next one. Here we are at the third piece of concept art with this guy, and this is actually starting to look a lot like a Wraith tank. I would say that if it wasn't for that little dish at the bottom, this is basically a Wraith tank. I like it's got that really sharp bladed look right there in the middle, but other than that, 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 it's basically a Wraith tank, but one thing I always think about when I look at this piece of concept art is like Halo 2 introduced boarding. You know what I mean? So, like, how would boarding this tank, if they decided to keep this look, how would that work? Could you literally just jump and stand on that dish at the bottom and ride it around? Would it immediately splatter you? I don't know. I just love the idea of being able to jump on the side of a Wraith, stand on that little dish piece, and just ride around on the tank before you actually board it. I don't know. Funny things you could do in multiplayer, I guess, is what I'm thinking about. But let's move on to the fourth and final piece of concept art. Well, here we are at the final piece of concept art with the video, and here it is. And guys, that's a Wraith tank. It does not get much closer than this to being the Wraith that that we see in Halo Combat Evolved. I imagine this is probably the final piece of concept art they did for the Wraith before they decided this is what's going to be in the game and then they shipped it in Halo Combat Evolved and I, I, it's great. You know, it's awesome. It's got everything that the Wraith needs to be considered a Wraith. I really love the the look of the Wraith in Halo Combat Evolved, by the way, that the cannon has that that, that look, that, that like open gun look that you don't see in any of the other Wraiths. They're more of like a fanny thing in the back. I, I don't know. I, my terminology is all over the place, but I, I like the Halo Combat Evolved the Wraith look I quite a bit but here we are guys at the part of the video where I show you what the Wraith actually looks like as it appears in Halo Combat Evolved and here it is in all of its Covenant tank glory like I said I've always enjoyed the Wraith I always thought one thing that it did that was really cool is that it's a really nice contrast to the UNSC Scorpion tank to whereas the Scorpion tank kind of serves as like your traditional tank it shoots straight it does exactly what a tank's supposed to do whereas to contrast that the Covenant have this mortar tank and it just looks so cool when it shoots when the actual Wraith blast is flying through the air, it always reminds me, I can't not think of that mortar bug from Starship Troopers, it always reminds me of that scene without fail, but you know, I always thought that it was really cool that they, they the Covenant have a completely different sci-fi mortar tank, whereas the UNSC have a more traditional human tank, I've always thought that was a really cool creative decision, but guys, that's all I have for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you found yourself liking the video, be sure to drop a like on it, because it helps the video reach more Halo fans, it also means a whole lot to me, I make new Halo videos every single week, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new Halo videos, and be sure to let me know down in the comments what do you want to see me analyze next do you want to see the drones or anything else i made so many of these videos be sure to check them out if you haven't seen them already let me know what you guys think of that and but like i said guys that's all i have for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya